who calls you and you know how do you react his friends called me told me there was a shooting i didn't think that he i didn't know he was deceased it's like four o'clock in excuse me like four o'clock in the morning i didn't know he was deceased i'm like okay with the shooting guess they didn't want to tell me so i was already up i didn't sleep for 48 hours so i need to make sure everything was okay so um got in my car whatever and made a call say hey write me to town if it was a shooting then by the time i went and got picked somebody up and before i could pull off i was told that he didn't make it and i just lost it mm. I just thought it was a shooting, like all the other shootings. Um, I honestly would never thought that he would have, I never thought that he would die of being killed ever. I don't know, other people probably, I don't, I never thought that he would die of um, being murdered, never. Mm. You said that y'all prepared for the worst, basically. A lot of people don't want to talk about death in case something happens. So me, I already had stuff in place. Even if it was a car accident or a health illness or anything like that, I was prepared. I was prepared for it all. So it's not like, um, oh, he keep getting shot at, I got to go ahead and get this. No, he has had insurance since birth. Right. Didn't see eye to eye with your son. If Young and Ace was watching this right now, what would you tell him? I mean, I really don't have anything to tell him, but it comes a point in time where it needs to stop because it's, there's only two places. It's going to just keep it real. You're either going to be in prison for the rest of your life or you're going to be um, dead. That's just point blank, period. And we, the thing is, we don't have to entertain these people, these fans to make yourself look cool or anything like that. And I tell my son the same thing. There's, all, there's three ways out. Jail death are just doing better just cut the bull and just and just and, and just do better because when not only him a lot of other rappers and stuff as well y'all think these people are not watching they're watching you thinking people not telling they're telling you thinking these girls your friends and all that type of stuff they try to set you up so it comes a point in time where it, it just it just got to it got to it got to stop or whatever. Whether he take this from me, um, me being sincere or not, there's um, I'm telling you, it it, it need it need to stop because if it don't stop, um, you're gonna be gone a very long time, a very long time. Because I will say that um, they're not the police and, and stuff like that. They're not playing. They 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 they're definitely not playing. And people talk about, oh, it's gonna be a Rico. Oh, they just talking. They talk. Keep keep playing with these people. Keep playing with them, or whatever. And those go, go, those are going to be the end results. But if you do want to keep making your music, your diss music or whatever, to get your your um millions of views and things of that sort with your diss, no, that's that that's fine too. Um. What we do, what I will tell you, like, and this is just not for Ace, it's for anybody. Karma is real. You can have bad karma and you have good karma. And the choice is yours. The choice is absolutely yours. And I know that so much of stuff has happened. We can't get these people back. You can't get your friends back. But tomorrow don't have to be like yesterday. You can start and change today. That's if you want to. And that goes for anybody and absolutely everybody. And anybody who's listened to the drill and um, want to make a mockery of people, whatever. It, it comes a time where you got to stop because what about when your people pass away? It's going to keep on going on and on. It's childish to me. It, it's it's ch childish. Is, is, is out Because you just shot somebody's mom biking out my garage is very dark i stay in a nice neighborhood um as i'm biking out i'm letting my garage down then i just heard the, the bullets heard the gunshots the first thing i could think of was to duck down to the passenger side because i'm thinking i don't want to get hit above the waist or whatever so um finally when i heard the um gunshots um stop i just slow rolled my car to the like playing like i was dead i slow rolled the car so they could think i was dead and um after I felt like the clothes was clear or whatever, I end up driving back up and then everybody end up coming out the, um, my neighbors end up coming out their houses and things of that sort.
I got hit up um, on my left side, my whole left side of my body, but all the bullets like landed to my right side. And I suffered, a, um, I got bullet fragments on my spine. The bullets are still in me to this day. I got bullet fragments on my right um, spine. I had a fractured femur. I had to get a splint in my pelvis. I was on a walker. That's what happened that day. I was on my way to work.